This is yet another week with more exciting new Blender add-ons and updates. So in today's video, we're going over some add-ons for modeling, retopology, lighting, particle effects, and cameras. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First of all, if you haven't heard, Retopoflow is finally out of beta and officially released. This is actually a huge update to Blender's retopology toolkit. You see, this version was a complete rewrite that integrated all sketch-based retopology tools directly into Blender's edit mode, which gives you a fast, non-blocking workflow and interestingly enough, I would say a massive performance boost. And if you've never seen this add-on before, retopology flow lets you draw new topology onto high-poly sculpts or scans as if you were sketching, which makes retopology kind of fun, to be honest. And version 4 brings back all the great tools like Polypan for precise vertex by vertex control, in addition to poly stripes for quickly laying out quad stripes along key loops, in addition to stroke for sketching patches of quads and contours for rapid loops around cylindrical forms while adding improvements. And it even has handy sculpt style brushes like Tweak and Relax to adjust your mesh on the fly while keeping everything snapped to high poly surfaces. Generally speaking, this add-on is actually amazing, simply because it makes the tedious process of retopology feel fast and better than ever. We also have Quad Filler, which is a little new modeling add-on that is currently in beta. It does one specific job really well. It basically automates fills and gaps, I mean on your mesh, with perfect quads. So if you've ever modeled and ended up with awkward holes that's almost a rectangle but not quite, you will appreciate this add-on. It works by selecting a chain of three connected edges on one side of the hole and a single edge on the opposite side. Then with one hotkey, which is Shift plus F by default, it will bridge them into a clean quad face instantly. So this add-on will spare you from manually creating triangles or fiddle with bridge edge loops. And being an early access beta, it currently handles the three edges to one edge scenario but the developer has plans to support more complex hole configurations like 4 to 2, 5 to 3, and so on. I mean in future updates. So generally speaking, the tool is lightweight and focused. Also, it is very affordable too. And during this beta phase, it is offered at a discount. Another new add-on is called Alt Tab Gobos. Alt Tab Gobos is actually an enormous asset pack with over 200 Gobo textures and patterns, which can instantly make lighting more cinematic. And here is what you will find inside the box. This pack contains a bit of everything, more than 90 static gobos, including image textures or steel patterns, and over 60 procedural gobos, which are parametric patterns that you can adjust in Blender, and around 80 animated gobos, including ones with wind effects that simulate things like gently swaying foliage shadows. And using these is really simple, because the collection is built for Blender's asset browser, you can just drag and drop a gobo from the library onto the light setup with no extra setup. And the interesting thing, there are even light presets included, like police car lights, lighting flashes, colored gradients, and so on. This will help you instantly add dramatic effects to your scene, which a lot of people need to be honest. And you're not limited to one gobo at a time either. The pack encourages you to layer multiple gobos to create unique composite lighting patterns and moods. These kind of add-ons are popular lately, and Blender artists seem to actually enjoy using them because they can save you a ton of time. Still with lighting, this time we're gonna talk about Gaffer. Gaffer is a popular lighting add-on, which can help you work with lights and HDRIs in a better way inside the Blender. So it basically provides a clean single interface where you can tweak all your light setups and settings in one place. From basic stuff like strength and color, to advanced options like shadows, light radius, samples, and more. This add-on actually has a signature feature, that is the solo button, which isolates a selected light so you can see its effect in the scene without other lights interfering. The add-on also includes a robust HDRI manager, making it super easy to browse and switch environment maps. You can also adjust their rotation, brightness, and even download new HDRIs on the fly. And the latest update in version 3.2.6 didn't introduce new big features, but it did fix some compatibility issues. For example, it now plays nicer with the Light Wrangler add-on by properly handy lights that use node-based setups. This in addition to fixing some bugs. Next, we're gonna talk about Scatterflow. Scatterflow is a physics-based scattering add-on, which makes it a blast to populate scenes 
with props and debris. So instead of manually placing dozens of objects, the Owl lets you spawn assets and have them fall under gravity, naturally colliding and settling. As you may know, this is great for quickly dressing the scene with rocks, foliage, trash, you name it. It features different modes. You can drop a whole set of objects at once, use continuous spawn to fill up containers, or even scatter things in grid patterns. There is even a real-time physics grab feature. You can toss objects around interactively to fine-tune their placement, which is great. Under the hood, the Anon integrates the Open Scatter toolset as well, meaning you can get traditional non-physics scattering for a more controlled distribution of objects. The recent 2.0 update expanded its capabilities further, which is why it is in this video. For example, it introduced a brand new decal scatter tool, so you can scatter decals like graffiti, in addition to leaves or cracks into surfaces with ease. And it added tons of new built-in assets, for example, additional foliage models, decal textures, etc., which helps to dress your scenes even better. The next add-on is called Particles Effects, which is a procedural particles effects generator, which of course takes advantage of geometry nodes. It basically offers a layered and non-destructive workflow for building all kinds of particle-based visuals. You know, stuff like sparks and explosions to magic swirls, and you can do all that inside Blender. Essentially, you can stack different modifier layers, for example, emitters, which can be anything like primitive shapes to meshes, curves, or even images as emission sources. This in addition to simulators, which define how the particles move and behave, and renderers, which decide how particles are drawn, for example, as point instance objects, ribbons, or volumes. You can even add optional trails for motion streaks behind particles. The Anon comes with 10 preset simulation types, including continuous emissions, bursts, surface blowing particles, and more, in addition to other things, which give you a quick starting point for different effects. It also provides a suite of forces and controls, like coral noise, spiral force fields, gravity and collisions, which can help you shape the particle motion and interactions. For convenience, the Anon includes a bunch of ready-made presets, in addition to templates that you can load up, in addition to being integrated with the Blender Asset Browser, which can help you a lot. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Easy Camera Tracker. This add-on is actually made to help you with camera tracking, as you can tell from the name. So, instead of manually placing trackers and solving camera motion yourself, this add-on automates the entire process, so you can get a 3D tracked camera fast. Depending on your footage and your machine, it can solve typical shots in a matter of seconds, and sometimes minutes, and it can do that in the background while you work. So, it will automatically handle tasks like converting the video to frames, choosing the tracking points, solving the camera motion, and even setting up the scene for you afterwards. For example, once tracking is done, it creates an animated camera that matches the original footage, sets the video as the camera background, generates a point cloud with the tracked features, matches the scene's render settings to the full video, and can even add a reference floor with the video projected on it, which can speed up the process of match moving. This add-on is really easy to use, but it also includes advanced options for those who need them, like the ability to end distort footage to handle less distortion, support for zoom less shots, and manual tweaking of tracking settings if you want more control. The main caveat here is that your footage still needs to be trackable, a moving camera with parallax and some visual features, because no matter how good it is, it won't magically track a blank sky or a tripod shot with zero movement. But given a suitable video, this add-on can do a decent job and can save you a lot of time. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.